वेलकम टू द टेस्ट प्रेप कार्ड चैनल होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग गुड इन योर लाइफ एंड वंस अगेन वी आर बैक विद अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी एम एच टी सी टी एग्जामिनेशन एंड विल बी प्राइमरली फोकसिंग ऑन द टू टॉपिक्स व्हिच आर वेरी मेजर टॉपिक्स फॉर एन आर आई कैंडिडेट्स एंड द टॉपिक्स इंक्लूड द एन आर आई रिलेटेड टॉपिक्स इन एम एच टी सी टी एंड द एग्जाम एलिजिबिलिटी फॉर एन आर आई कैंडिडेट्स सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद दीज मेन टॉपिक्स लेट मी गिव यू अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ वट इज वट इज एम एच टी सेट एग्जामिनेशन बिकॉज बिफोर नोइंग द अदर टॉपिक्स यू शुड नो दैट वट इज द एग्जामिनेशन सो एम एच टी सी टी स्टैंड फॉर महाराष्ट्र कॉमन एंट्रेंस टेस्ट इट इज जनरली अंडर ग्रेजुएट लेवल एग्जामिनेशन कंडक्टेड फॉर मोर देन थ्री फोर्टी कॉलेज ऑल ओवर महाराष्ट्र and every year about 3 to 4 lakh candidates appear for this examination which is conducted by the state government of maharashtra and uh, there are more than 1 lakh seats in these 340 colleges but not all 1 lakh seat worth it only there are few seats which are good which are decent and which are in decent colleges now before moving ahead in the video let me tell you about the nri ebook prepared by test prep card especially for nri or pio candidates and you can download it from the link given in the description section of this video so i will suggest you to uh, watch the complete video and then go to the description section to download it it is going to be really very helpful for all the nri or pio candidates now let us move to the nri related topics uh, for ms ct ct examination so the basic thing is that all the nri or piu or ciwg candidates can appear for mht ct examination but the most important or necessary thing is that they should present some certificates or some documents at the time of counseling to apply for the admission and the documents include the original affidavit of the sponsor uh, whosoever is the overseas citizen and in that original affidavit his full detail should be there the second thing is the passport of the candidate whosoever is applying the third thing is that sponsor's valid passport and visa the third uh, the fourth thing is that certificate from embassy stating that the stating the nri uh, status of the sponsor the other, other thing is that the residential proof the residential proof is other the important certificate the next thing is that passport of candidate Uh, i think passport of candidate i have earlier told you the last thing is that your 12th mark sheet or grade sheet should be there so these are four to five very important certificate which are asked in different different colleges of mht ct for the nri or piu admissions okay now let us move to the nri exam eligibility for mht ct examination so the basic eligibility is that you should have passed hsc or equivalent examination with physics and maths as compulsory subject and a optional subject from chemistry biology biotechnology or computer science and you should have scored a minimum 50% aggregate in these three subject means physics maths and the third from these optional subject you should have a aggregate of minimum 50% okay uh, the other thing is that you should be a citizen of india or an nri or pio candidates uh, whosoever has a important all the important documents present at the time of counseling the other thing is that there is no such particular age limit for mht ct examination noted there is no such age limit okay so these are the uh, basic eligibility for nri candidates to appear for the mht ct examination or to appear or to uh, get admission in mht ct colleges okay so this is all for the video i hope that uh, you liked the video uh, you liked the content and if you like the content consider subscribing the channel press the bell icon for more such updates and if you have any of the doubts regarding mst ct examination or you have any of the doubt regarding the things told in the video then uh, freely comment down or you can also contact us through the link given in the description section of this video thanks a lot